naughty four-legged spiders and there's the spider's pee-pee. I can't be mucking around. We're going over tonight. All right, my next guest is a beautiful and talented actress. She's starring in The Bank Job, uh, which is uh, not an actual bank job. It's, you know, uh, it's a movie which is in theatre starting March the 7th. Whoa, blimey! That sounds like a rum do. Please welcome the lovely Saffron Burrows, everybody. Look at you. You look absolutely sensational. I love a woman in a red dress. Well, I like your attire very much, too. Thanks. It's Bob Barker, circa 1986. <laughs> what do you think? I like the look of this film, by the way. It looks very nice. It's one of them movies with all them Cockney people stealing money, innit? It's a lot of Cockney. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite keen for you to see this. I, I, I'll see it. I think you might like it. I do. I like, I like the lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Yeah. I, like, I tell you why I like Cockney uh, heist movies. Because all the guys have got tiny little mouths and they all talk like that. <laughs> You're a tiny little mouth. I've got they some do. money in here, geezer. And I can't go above a certain octave. That's right. We've got to keep it low. it's cool if it's low. Yeah. It's true. I know. Blacks that... talk like that over there. And the problem is when you're on camera with one of them, you end up talking the same way because you just drift towards it. Well, that's what I do all the time. Don't you find if you're around people that talk differently, you end up talking like them? Absolutely. I, I mean, I'm from New Jersey. I met five Scottish guys once. <laughs> I do that in New Zealand, I go all local, like for really? a week. What does New Zealand sound like? Well, it's kind of a little bit tight in the mouth. Oh, right. So right, it's right. not as broad as Australian, but it's a little bit tight. A little bit tight? A little bit tight, but it's kind of terrific, and it's very, uh, very open-minded, and, and it's got a lot of Maori in the language. What, nudism? Do they have nudism with their open-mindedness? <laughs> they do, actually. Do they have nudism? It's a very liberal society. Really? Yeah. But, uh, I mean... I don't approve. <laughs> <laughs> or I kind of do, I don't know. You have Touch been... me again and I'll tell you. <laughs> You've been all over my life recently because... Really? I was on a plane yesterday reading your novel that oh. you kindly gave me. That's right. I look up at the screen and there's your show on American Airlines. Yeah. And there's just Craig everywhere. Yeah, I get yeah. home, you're on the telly. I know. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. A, it's called outsourcing. <laughs> Do you know once I was on a plane, and uh, you, this was happened to do, you've had movies on the plane, I fell asleep on the plane and I was all, and I must have been snoring, because everyone was kind of looking at me like that when I woke up, I was like, ah, uh, in fact, it, it was like this, it was like, right, and, just like that, yeah, it was just like that, and then I woke up and I was, I was, and the TV was on, and it was me on the TV, I was like, ah, oh, like that, it's horrifying. I, I, I realise how scary it must be to see me. That's horrible. I know. Well, I have to say, there was also a Wonder Show on, and I, I was travelling alone. I had the headphones on. So I, I turned to this complete stranger next to me and said, oh, this is my favourite show on television. <laughs> she looked at me like, really? So what? Really? And I was, obviously, I, was, I was obviously shouting because I had the headphones oh. on. I was watching Wonder and Julia do their thing in the, in the kitchen. Or That's something. your favourite show, The New Adventures of Old Christine? I can't go out on a Monday now because I have to watch it. I love it. Do you know how much CBS would pay you to say that? <laughs> or have they already? <laughs> I will literally email a friend while I'm watching and say, turn it on, turn it on. It's so good. Really? It's a very yeah. good show. They're both very funny. Yeah, I like really. to think I'm their only viewer. No, you're not. it's just for me. Well, actually, CBS, it's entirely possible. <laughs> I... No, it, I, I never thought, I think of you as, well, then again, you did do Boston Legal. I always think of you as being terribly serious in, in, the, in your acting game. But I yes. pretend to be. Yeah. Then I have my little moments. Would you ever do a sitcom? I'd love to do a sitcom. Just call it Saffron. Wouldn't you, Saffron and Craig? I, I'm busy here. But I, <laughs> I could get out of this probably. Actually, if I could get out of this, I would get out of this. You could no. just shoot morning. I could shoot morning, but call it morning. Saffron. And we'll do the, you know, I'm just wild about Saffron for the title. Yeah. Thing. And then at the end, it'll go, Saffron is taped in front of a, of a studio audience. Like that at the end. I like that. What's, what would the setup be? Uh, you have a wacky neighbor and, uh, and you're married to a really fat guy. Uh, that, no, that's what they do in CBS. Good-looking women married to a fat guy. It's a, it's a, just, it works, it works, it works. <laughs> it does. It works. King of Queens, that ran for ten years. <laughs> we do, so we marry you up to, say, I don't know, Newman from Seinfeld or something like that. <laughs> what about Norm from Cheers? Norm from Cheers, he's great. Yeah, he's yeah, great. I, like I like him. All right, so you're married to Norm from Cheers, and yeah. at the end of each episode, every episode, someone goes, 
Oh, saffron. And then they go, saffron is taped in front of a studio audience like that. <laughs> You're I not like going to do it, are you? I like that. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be good. I'll ditch the law stuff. What, are you still doing Boston Legal? Yeah, we're back on after the strike. Oh, gosh, I'm I in the courtroom tomorrow. Really? Yeah, we've I got love some, that show. It's, we've got some good stuff coming up. It, that, to me, is the best show on television. I have to tell you, even although it's not on CBS. I know, but it's true. I, are you allowed to say that? I, I am. They'll cut it out. But I... Uh, no. <laughs> No, I, no, in television, I don't know if you know this, because you've probably been working in Boston Legal and then, you know, doing movies, but in television, everybody actually gets along and everybody supports each other. <laughs> Do you know, they did say to me on day one of Boston Legal, they said they run it like a theatre company. Yes. If you have any complaints, you go to the artistic director and you all get together and you have lunch and you talk. And really? I have to say, I thought, oh, I didn't believe a word of it. And actually, they're kind of true to their word. Do you ha did you have any complaints? Is well, Spader grabby in any way? Oh, <laughs> no, Shatner, of course. Shatner is the single word that means sexual harassment. <laughs> he is, isn't he? He's grabby. <laughs> Saffron, I really enjoy John Larroquette's the one you've got to watch. John Larroquette, oh, he's, he's grabby. He's the one you've yeah, got to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, oh, a little bit busy. Time. Darling, will you come back again? I'd love to. All right, the lovely Saffron Burrows. Ever. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Hummingbird technique, eh? <laughs> I thought I was the only one who knew that. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Saffron Burrows, everybody. Saffron Burrows. There you go. Plug it in right there. You need any help with that? You good? <laughs> How are you, dear? No, I'm very well. I feel I was here just the other week. Well, you were, kind of, weren't you? When were you here? It was just the other week. It was just the other week. Then you're, in the, you're doing the new NBC show with the... You're playing this. Are you a sex therapist in the show? Well, I'm actually a therapist of the mind, body and soul. So I'm... yes would be the answer there. <laughs> I'm the resident mental health counsellor. Right, okay. For um, the sort of... Uh, the cover which is, you know, the Christian Slater's suburban side of himself. All right, because the show, he's, he plays two people in the show, right? Yes. He's like, he's himself and then he's like D Dr. Evil or something. Uh, uh, yeah, there's Henry, which is the suburban man with a, you know, works for an insurance company with a wife and kids. Right. And then there's his assassin side, Edward. Ah, right, Henry and Edward. Henry Jekyll, Edward Hyde. Ah, I get it. And there's a yes. very subtle difference. Like, right. one of them's left-handed and one's right-handed. Oh, nice. Does he drink a potion? <laughs> he sort of, well, you get a little bit of blurry camera, right. and he gets a bit of a headache. So he, there's, a good, there's a good one and an evil one. It's kind of like the Olsen twins, right? You get the good one and the evil one. <laughs> and, you do, and you talk through his uh, personality problems then. I talk him through, and I sort of try to assuage his troubles. He comes and tells me dreams he's had, and I generally try and make him feel calm you, about do you, life. Do you ever uh, go and see a therapist yourself? No, well, I, I think what we're missing now... Do you ever have sexy dreams? <laughs> About your therapist? I do. You do? Yeah. You do? About your therapist? No. You are the therapist in the dream. Never mind. Now look, what happens when you go to your... So you're seeing a sex therapist right now then, you say. And... Christian Slater's visiting... Saffron Burrow's character. No, 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 forget all that. We plugged the show. I want to know about you. I want to know. Well, um, I was at a party recently. Ah. And I have to say, I don't go for psychics and things because I'd like to let my life unfold. Right. I don't particularly want someone telling me what's going to happen. But I was at a party right. with a psychic and um, uh, there were 25 people all sitting around. And then the idea was they tell you who might be your, you know, your, your guardian, one of your... One of the people keeping an eye on you. Oh, like a dead relative? And sort of, yeah. a sort of, yeah. And mine apparently was the kind of god of fun. And he was called Pepe. No! <laughs> How bizarre! He was called Pepe. Pepe and the he god was of like the, the god of late night clubbing and general fun. And he was called Pepe. Uh, did you meet Pepe on the way out? He's not a puppet, you know, he's real. <laughs> We had a little chat. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, right. I bet he would talk to you. Yeah, he likes the woman. <laughs> That's what he says. He says that. 
that. Yeah, do you, do you enjoy uh, shellfish, crustaceans, prawns, those kind of things? <laughs> well, um, do you, Craig? Yes, I do, you actually. Do. I, I enjoy uh, scampi. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I like a bit of scampi and I enjoy some sushi, if you don't mind me saying so. Really? Yeah. Do you like oysters? Uh, yes, I do. Interesting. Yeah. You can Actually, tell I, don't really, I don't really like oysters, but I always tell women I like oysters. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when they order some for you? I say I, I fake my own death, actually, is what I do. <laughs> I, I go to the bathroom and don't come back. No, I don't mind oysters. It's just that sometimes when you... It's, it's like a bit like snot going down, isn't it? <laughs> No, I suppose it's a like love-hate thing, isn't it? Like Marmite. Marmite, People yes. go either way. Yeah, do, do, do you know what we're talking about here, Marmite? Marmite, Marmite. is, a, is a, it's like a beefy spread. Yeah. Remind you of anyone? Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm such a vulgar old oaf tonight for some reason. I don't know why. I, um, I, <laughs> I have just started to embrace... Um, steak and bacon sandwiches and things like this. You were a for vegetarian, the first time yes. Since I was a kid. And you've been a vegetarian for yes, yeah. years. Yes. What got you back on the beef then? Well, if you I pardon the expression. <laughs> <laughs> I have an I have an actor's answer, which you, is that I was playing a role where the woman starts to eat spare ribs on camera. Right. And I didn't want to do a you know, a bit of soy something. Right. And fake it. But you've inspired me in another way. Why? I've now just applied for citizenship. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. congratulations. Well Thank done. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That, well, your first, the first step in your journey to being a true American is starting to eat meat again. So right there, <laughs> you're beginning to become an American now. The two seem to go side by side. In Out Burger, Americanism. No, well, actually, no, the, the truth, uh, I, I don't know if we advertised that particular so burger sorry. chain. Do <laughs> we? Oh, what the hell. I do uh, enjoy the, the drive through drive through burgers. The drive through burgers. Anything is good. It's excellent. Anything that you don't I have like to get it. out of the car. You can get married without getting out of your car. You can have a whole evening out with the little radio playing a bit of something on satellite. Right. A bit of coffee house soul or something. And drive through, have a burger, see a film. See a film it's in your a car? Yeah, yeah. Do you do you enjoy the coffee house soul? <laughs> <laughs> I plucked that from the air. Mm. But there's some sort of radio station like that. I like the, uh, the hits of the 80s I find myself listening to over and over again. You do? I do because I was so drunk during the 80s, I go, I never heard that. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, over and over and over again. I started to enjoy Dire Straits and stuff dire that I straight. didn't really listen to. Do you know before? what I always thought about Dire Straits? Remember when I watched Dire Straits that their singer, Mark Knopfler, was going bald? And so what he had was his little headband would get wider every time. In every video, <laughs> he was get wider and wider and wider. Until the end, it was just hair there and then the big giant thing, big, running for nothing, checks for free. The big bandana. Yeah, giant, yeah. that's how you can tell a man's going bald. Big bandana. Big bandana. So, uh, have you, yeah. if, if, so uh, when um, will you become a citizen then? Well, this is the thing. I was inspired because I want to vote, of course. Mm -hmm. But it looks like I'm going to have to wait till the next time around. I'm waiting for my meeting, so I, you, I could welcome some tips. On well, well, let's see. What you, mm -hmm. you have to, you'll, they'll quiz you at the meeting. Have you filled in the test yet? Yes. Right. No, well, all, no, all I've done is I've said I will bear arms for America. Oh, yeah, I know. I have to say that too. Yeah. You did. Would you really? Or did you have your I'd fingers crossed? I'd run away. No, no. <laughs> No, you I'm have to actually to do. You have to. You have to uh, bear arms, and I think there's something else. You have to be not in Al Qaeda or something. Uh, yeah. 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 There's, a, there's quite a lot of questions. They're quite difficult. Some of the questions, and they made it harder now. I got the easy test, and you then did? they changed. Yeah. The, my test was: Do you love America? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Do you enjoy cola? Oh, you bet I do. That's it. Yeah. Yours is kind of like, you know, Supreme Court justices, how the system works, the House of Representatives, the Senate. Do you know all this? Did you not have to do that? Yes, I did, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got a very large book, 1492 to the present, People's History of the United States. Well, you didn't have to bother with anything up until about 1980. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't, right. bo don't bother with all that people with sailing guns and around. Roses or something. Yeah, yeah. Start, start with Guns and Roses, guns and, roses. and then. Reagan. Uh, yeah? Reagan. Reagan. And yeah. Then, yeah, you'll be fine. It'll be all. Nixon, it'll... don't need to know. Just start with Reagan. Well, no, don't ask, don't tell about no, Nixon. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's your topical late don't night humour right there. Take that, Nixon. Uh, <laughs> Hey, we've got to go. It's lovely to see you again. Come back and see us in another couple of weeks. I'll, I'll tell you how it's gone. Yeah, Testing all right then. Everything. Yeah, no, do. When yeah. you're an American, don't come back until you're an American. All right. All right then. Well, lovely staff run bars, everybody. <laughs>
loveliness that is Saffron Burrows, everybody. Saffron yeah. Burrows. How are you? I'm very well. Really? I've just been on a holiday which has had an extraordinary effect on me. Really? Where'd you go? I'm sort of behaving like I'm still on it, really. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the you're fact all... I'm here, I well, could you... be in my flip-flops. I'm kind of... You feel very relaxed? Yeah. Are you high in some way? <laughs> <laughs> I'm high on pan au chocolat and... Oh, you've been to Paris? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Pan au chocolat is what they call pans of chocolate. <laughs> Have a lovely time there, don't they? Oh, I do like oh, France. You've yeah, got I do. Place there, haven't you? No, no, I don't. No, you don't? no, no. No, we won't mention that. <laughs> no, I don't. I used to live <laughs> in to... Paris for a bit. You did? I, I did. Yeah, yeah. And then they kicked me out for being <laughs> for being fat. To... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What were you doing in Paris? You were just on was, your holidays. I was getting about. Yeah, it really? was on my holidays. Took the train from London, saw art, ate everything in sight. They just have a lovely time there, don't they? Do they do have a lovely they just... time. They eat chocolate at breakfast time. Oh, my God. The chocolate at breakfast. I know. It's great, that, isn't And it? they all look gorgeous. I think it's the No, secret. no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> they look pretty gorgeous. Some of them look gorgeous. I mean, they're, they're, they're regular. They're, their gorgeousness quota is the same as anywhere else in the world. You, you know, think? they... Well, you know, there's... Yes. <laughs> And they, they can get a bit... They, there's the downside to it as well. They can be quite whiffy, you know. They can be, whoa, hey, come on now, mister. And, True. Uh, they can uh, think they're gorgeous. Yes, and they get very pleased with themselves yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah, they kind of have a right to be. Yeah, no, they do it very well. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go to Spain? I love Spain. I like Spain. Spain's like sexy France. <laughs> the flamenco's pretty good. Do you, have, do you flamenco dance? I love the flamenco. Really? Mm -hmm. Can you do flamenco dancing? In my bathroom. I could if I thought about it. Let's do if it I now. I give it a go. Let's do it now. Yeah. yeah. You want to do some flamenco dances? Sure. Have you ever done any? No. No. Let me just explain. Have we ever met before tonight? We have met a few times, but never in Spain. Yeah, no, right? and we've never flamenco danced. We've never flamenco danced. I have danced. never flamenco danced in my life. <laughs> do we have any flamenco? I think music? I've only watched it. Really? I've never done it, really. I haven't even watched it. I, just, I saw it once in a porn, but it was incidental to the plot. <laughs> Do we have any flamenco music? You're working on it? Yeah. Okay, well, we're live. <laughs> Let's just start, and then if they find some music, they can do it. Right, come on. Do it again. All right. Come on. <laughs> All right. Now. What are we doing? Well, we need uh, stuff in our teeth. Oh, we need a rose. Right, a rose. I don't have a rose, but I think I've got, I've got a couple of oranges. <laughs> okay, I've got a couple of oranges and I've got a feather. Do you want a feather? <laughs> the feather works. All right, don't put it in your teeth, uh, the, though. It could be a moustache. Yeah. Oh, come on. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look, do you know what I think is lovely? I think there might be chocolate in this, then. <laughs> do you want this, then? Do you want me to put some Purell on it or something for? I think I think you should bite the rose. All right, all right, yeah. all right. and you hold the orange. <laughs> yeah, hold it like that. Should I juggle them? Yeah, no, all right. Are you ready? All right. All right. What's... Enough. Yeah, you're right. You're all right. Please, take a seat. Well, I'm done. Uh, Where did Spain come from? I don't know. Uh, originally from Spain, I think. <laughs> Let me just put this here. <laughs> Is it at the right <laughs> angle? Yeah, just, I'll just put that there. <laughs> just, so you had a nice time then on your holidays. What, how was this film that you're in then? Short. This film in a short, non-Spader, non-James Spader-like way. Right. Yeah. No, James. I James, saw James yesterday. He was here on James Spader. He went. He talked for about four hours. I know. 
He told me afterwards he he had the rest of the story to tell you, and then he told me the rest of the story. Oh my God, that man I... can talk. He's a chatty, chatty Cathy. Well, you cut him off. He was I had to cut him off. People were leaving. The <laughs> on, the audience were singing hymns to keep their spirits up. <laughs> James thinks I eat too much. You? So when Look I go, at you. well, I do eat a lot. But when I go around for dinner, he says, "Put it away, put it away. We need leftovers next week." Apparently, really? apparently, I yeah. I, I eat can't believe most. you eat too much. Look at you, you're thin. Oh, well, I love. I do. I have a huge appetite. But James likes his leftovers. So when I go, <laughs> says, I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's the the, the, uh, the root of his uh, feud that I'm just making up right now with William Shatner. <laughs> That they fought over the cross. Yes, well, you Probably. know, they, they both were heading towards... He's a chatterbox. Oh, heading to. Yeah, they both like food. They have a fondness for good food. Yeah. You met William but... Shatner? I love William. Yeah, me too. He was, <laughs> he was Captain Kirk, you know. He was. <laughs> he really was. Would you like to be in Star Trek? I wasn't really a Trekkie, were you? No, not kid. so much, but I loved the film. Did you see the film? No. Oh, it's it great. Oh, it's great. And you know who's great? And Eric Bana. Really? Yes, he shaved his head. He he's a, goes about killing people. It's awesome. Is he fantastic? He's, fa he's fantastic. He's such a nice man. And, uh, you know, and then he's scary in the mm -hmm. film. I've got a bit of a man crush he on him. He played my hubby <laughs> in Troy. That's right. He was your husband in Troy. Yes, and he he's gorgeous. And he... Uh, he would speak a language I didn't understand. We spent the first week Australian. filming. He'd say things like, I'm gonna go home, Seffy. I'm put my feet up, tell my wife I'm having a cab sev. A cab sev? A, a cab sev. I said, Eric, what, what, what are you having? Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. That's so wine. The British and the Australian the first week of filming, we didn't understand a word each other said. <laughs> and we're playing husband and wife, I'm begging him not to go to war, I'm weeping. Offset, no, no. just over my head. You know that he does. He's not actually Australian in the film. He plays a Greek. You know that in the film, <laughs> Troy. He's, he's not does. Australian in that film. He's, he's not, not really. like Struth, mate. We got to get over to Troy. <laughs> <laughs> let's get to Troy. I tell you what, let's leave a bloody great horse right here. <laughs> Everybody hide inside. Let's have a Barbie next to the horse. That's right. Well, all, and we'll all go over here, and then they'll all ah ha. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been lovely chatting. It's been lovely. Yeah, it's, uh, we don't get enough time. We don't. We really don't. You know, I blame James Spader. <laughs> James has taken up half of this show as he well did. as last night. Yeah, it's, uh, we, we only Are you have... exhausted from it? I am. I'm worn out. You look worn out. I am. I'm you worn out. You look younger the last time I saw you. Really? James has worn you out. He has. He's worn me out. He's, he's, he, I feel like I've been ridden hard and put away wet. <laughs> <laughs> Tail Gunners at Dawn. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a great film. Have you seen that film? Do you know who's great in that film? Eric Banner. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh. Well, we're, we're done. Yeah, we don't have enough time. We're done. So. We've got nothing else to say. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the awkward moment in a talk show, I think, at the end, when you go, oh, there's the unnatural end to a conversation. I like your Prince Charles impression, but... It's not me, it's Prince Charles, really. <laughs> I have to protest, because he's actually lovely. Oh, I... Listen, I and only he's ever... a chatterbox. He's as bad as James. Have you ever watched a film with Prince Charles? Oh, yeah, all the time. We watched... <laughs> actually, we watched Tail Gunners at Dawn together, as I remember. Yeah. No, I haven't watched a film with Prince Charles. What are you talking about? Well, in England, when you have a film premiere, he turns up. Well, there you go. You had me right there at film premiere. I'm not having any film premiere. <laughs> Look at me. I work in a garage. <laughs> I work in a badly lit garage with puppets. <laughs> I try and impress actresses with fruit and a plastic flower shaped like male genitalia. I don't have a film premiere. You, you did get that's what I was doing, right? Yeah. Right. I'll put that over here. Keep the your... angle was disturbing. <laughs> but the road Only was the wet. angle? Uh, right. Well, we're completely out of time now. I mean, we were out of time earlier. Oh, now right. we're completely out of time. Uh, that's, we don't even have time for commercials. We're now on cable. Uh, what about... <laughs> don't keep asking me questions. If in doubt, we can discuss the props. There's a, an that's not a prop. That's a thing for holding... A beverage. Fair it's enough. It's a cup. I'd when like... you go to a film with Prince Charles, he sometimes drinks out of one of these. He has his soda. He has his soda. 
<laughs> he does. He yeah. does. It's very tasty, that, actually. I'd like to read your new book. Well, one that I bought? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a copy of it, actually. Give it. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to go to, we have to really have to finish now, so All right. knock it off. All right. <laughs> Saffron Burrows, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's exactly the same line Jeff Goldblum used on me. <laughs> Please welcome the very lovely Saffron Burrows, everybody. Saffron. Hello, Saffron Burrows. How are you? Well, I've missed you. I've missed you too. I, I, it's been so long. It's been. Nearly a year or something. Is it a year since mm -hmm. you've been here? Almost a year. Why? Where have, what happened? Where have you, what have you been doing? One minute I was on holiday in Spain and then next minute I was playing a policewoman in New York with Jeff. Jeff Goldblum? For eight months we've been shooting and we just finished. He's very nice, Jeff Goldblum, but he's a bit grabby. <laughs> he's, he's very tactile. He ta that's the British that way of saying he's grabby. <laughs> yeah. That scene we just watched was not at all choreographed that way. Really? That was just, yeah. That, yeah, he does do, When he comes on the show, yeah. he's always, Craig, it's really nice to me. Yeah, Hand does, on the knee. Hands on the knee, yeah. yeah. Say, he looks right at you, makes you feel you're like the only girl in the room. <laughs> He liked your earlobes. He likes to stroke an earlobe. He, he touched, I think he touched my earlobes when he was here, yeah. yeah. And then I was reading in one of the tabloids, they said what, to Jeff Goldblum, what is your ideal day? And he said, a day spent with Craig Ferguson, he said. <laughs> he did? He did, he really said that. I was like, all right, that's enough, Jeff Goldblum. He wanted to shave his legs or something. I think we discussed you. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we work 16 hour days. We, yeah, have a lot, so we, we have a lot to discuss. Yeah, yeah. How did yeah. I do? You did very well. You fared well. Oh. Above the others, I can't mention names, but you you fared very oh, well. Oh, the other late night the puppet others. people. Yeah. <laughs> now, how have you been? What have you been up to apart from? Well, you were on holiday in Spain. I was in Spain, but that was before being a detective, Stephen. What part of Spain? I was though? gadding about in the north of Spain. I like the north of Spain. Were you up near Cadaques and that kind of area? Um, vaguely, the, in the Basque country, Bilbao, San Sebastian. Yeah, I, I ran with the bulls there at you the. Did? Uh, yeah. You did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> it was back in the day. Did you run with the bulls? I didn't run with the bulls. Right. But right. I didn't. <laughs> When I say run with the bulls, what I really did uh -huh. was run away from them. Away from the yeah. Bulls. yeah. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the town all of a sudden. What Cordoba? Was... No, 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 it was uh, it was another one. I can't remember. You um, can't remember. No, I was way yeah. 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 Don't ever do that. Get drunk and then run with the bulls. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no. it's bad. Well you can get drunk if you want. I can. Now if but you want. I could now. I could now. No, I'd get you some tequila if it would have any effect. Oh. <laughs> What have you been up to? Did you, uh, have you been back to Britain? I've been to, back to Britain. I've been in France. I basically filmed this show and then I decided that I wanted to go gadding about in Europe again. Right. So I've been in England where I, I went to the most gorgeous part, you know, the Dorset Jurassic Very coastline nice, yeah. where they film French Lieutenant's Woman, Lyme Regis, all. And I've noticed that. I don't know if the Brits do it, all Brits, but definitely the English have this one. They, they drive somewhere really gorgeous and then they sit in their cars eating their picnic. Yes, that's exactly have what I do. That? Yeah, I do. <coughs> I like to go to interesting places in America and not get out of the and car. And not get out of the mm -hmm. car. <laughs> so I saw a bit of, there was a bit of that, but I just, I just came back to LA two days ago. And it was, first of all, it was too quiet. I didn't like it because there's no construction outside, there's no chaos and sirens, and I'm all used to Manhattan now with all kinds oh, of... Oh, there's parts of LA you can get construction and <laughs> noise. I should, pay, I should maybe move to you, a noisier you know, bit. What part of LA I'm in a quiet bit. What, the, the, what, the here? <laughs> <laughs> It's quite noisy, it's, LA. Well, compared to New York, though, it's just really. Wait, Manhattan has that energy it's and, got that, yeah, yeah, and smell yeah. of pee pee everywhere. It's yeah. Got, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. You get kind of used to it, though, don't you? You, know, you, get, you get kind get... of like, morning! Yeah. You start to enjoy it. It's true. I think you've become very American, you know. You do? Yeah. I became an American last summer. Really? Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Welcome Thank to you. our show. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. That's Thank kind you. of addressed the balance because you're lovely and I'm kind of hideous. I shuffled in, but you've kind of addressed it back again. That's, that's well, gorgeous. Well, you, you helped me with my, my questionnaire and my my whole inauguration moment. Right. Because I think the last time I saw you, I was about to become an American. And, yeah. and, and you did. And yeah. then did you, uh, did you have the big ceremony with all the other people? I had the ceremony with 4,000 people downtown. Here? Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, I had it here yeah. as well. It was, I, I, I was tearful. I was it was Obama other. welcoming us to America. And I got George W. <laughs> you just want to go right back. Yeah, no. <laughs> right back it was Europe. all right. He, he was kind of good. He, he was, was like, right. hey, giggity, diggity. Yeah. <laughs> I actually... But you know, you know, at Disneyland they have soaring over California. Yeah. There was a bit of that. They have these sweeping landscapes of California. Did they have the song where the guy sings, Home where do we are American? Yeah. Singer. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. Came and, sang. and then everyone else was, uh, well, lots of people when I was there, they were not from Scotland, but another country called Mexico. Was everyone <laughs> from Mexico? There were a lot of Mexicans. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think I was the only one from London, probably. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but today, I was, I, I, <laughs> I was feeling very grumpy, I have to say, because I was missing all the noise in New York. I went to an appointment in Beverly Hills this morning, came out, was paying for my car, and there was a guy screaming at the top of his lungs. I thought, exciting. There was a bit of a tussle going on in Beverly yes. Hills. Unusual for Beverly Hills. I thought, it was a bit of an action thing going on. Some, a punch-up. It wasn't a punch-up. It was the, the valet man looking at the Uruguay match. Uruguay oh, versus South Africa yeah, on yeah. a tiny television. Oh, that was a couple of days ago now. Oh, a couple yeah, of days yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. A couple of days ago. Right. <laughs> Continuity, for God's sake, Saffron. <laughs> that was phew. Anyway, yeah, a couple of days ago, right, right. all this happened. I've got a Friday night song for you, by the way. A oh. couple of days ago, and so I'm all involved with this man, the match. It's like, it's, it, people are talking. It's all a, a tussle in Beverly Hills. There's Lionel Richie paying for his parking ticket. What a feeling. I'm so excited. <laughs> on the ceiling yeah. and, uh, and Lionel Rich is there and I said I'm so sorry but I have to tell you you're fantastic yes. Lionel Richie he said thank you I said Would did you? he say hello he said <laughs> <laughs> I said I said a, a little tiny while ago I just wanted to be you you he wanted said, to be Lionel Rich he said well you're me with an afro I said well I'd love to be you with an afro I said a little tiny while ago I was slightly younger than I am now and I was a rapper my best friend was a rapper with straight black hair and I made him this is true I made him perm his hair to be Lionel Richie Really? And, and I, I was street cat and my friend was street dog. Lionel Richie said, that's fantastic because normally people tell me when I was a kid, I wanted to be you, Lionel Richie. But no, I said like, just a little. Just a little just while, a little while, while ago. ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I felt, okay, this is going quite well, this interaction. So I said, would you consider coming on our show? Because I do a show with Jeff Goldblum and we, right. we are allowed to invite guest stars on. Oh, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> I think there's been a murder. I could do that. <laughs> well, he said yes. Playing Richie's going to be yes, on Law and Order? And he gave me his number, said, uh, I, as long as I can play a musician, I'd be, I'd be fine. He, he should walk on and say, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you go to Las Vegas? I've never been to Vegas. Have you never? Mm -mm. Oh, you should go. You'd be popular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about the. I'm worried about going into a casino and never coming out again. There's no clocks, is that right? Yeah, but you do, you won't need one. There's no oxygen. Oh, they pump oxygen they in, pump but oxygen then you come in out and, and, and then that's all rubbish. <laughs> that's all rubbish. They made that's all made up. Have you got a gig? I went to Vegas. Yeah. I no. I, I've done. I'm done with that. Well, for now. Two nights. <laughs> you are. For now. Two nights ago, I think you were here inviting Tim Allen to the farmers market. <laughs> and <laughs> for some reason, I've not been invited to the farmers market. You can yet. come to the farmers All market right. if you have, want. Have yeah. you got a gig at the farmers market? Sure, I go to Bob's Coffee and Donuts. You can catch me there. Every... <laughs> have you ever been to Bob's Coffee and Donuts at the farmers market? That's an LA landmark. That's fantastic. I've been to the bagel place. Is that near the bagel place? Is quite All near. Right. Yeah, but Bob's Coffee and Donuts is good because the lady that works there uh -huh. very unpleasant. Really? <laughs> <laughs> She's like. I'm like, oh, and she's like, oh, but somehow. You like we, it? We, yeah, I, I do like it. It's kind of charming. Well, I give her a little bit of money, which she likes, and she gives me a little bit of coffee, which I like. So yeah. It's a fairly honest relationship. It's just kind of yeah. good and grumpy. 
Yeah, she yeah. reminds me of home, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Are you writing any more books? Oh, uh, yeah, well, probably yeah. at one point, yeah. 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 Do you miss the East Village? No. No? No. <laughs> Not right now. I mean, I, I, a little bit, but it's been a while since I was there. Look, we're out of time. Stop <laughs> asking me all these questions. <laughs> all right, I know. I'm just like, I'm, all right. Any time, Craig. <laughs> Saffron wants you to be on that show, Law and Order, Criminal Things. What is it? I'm coming? scared. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you should be. You play the part of the cold case. Oh, you. <laughs> we, could have, we could have a good scene in the morgue with you. Yeah. No, no, no you've upset no, it don't work. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we have to go. Saffron Burrows, everybody. All right. My next guest is a very beautiful actress. She's doing a new play called This at the Kirk Douglas Theatre in Los Angeles. Please welcome the incandescently lovely Saffron Burrows, everybody. Saffron Burrows. Hello, everybody. Hello. Saffron! You look lovely. I love your jacket. Thank you. It's I'm sorry. I... I got distracted by the Englishman out there yes. and didn't hug you. You didn't hug me. I came to see a you backstage and you were all over Hugh Laurie like a lovely jacket. <laughs> Do you know each other? No. He once didn't turn up for dinner with me. He stood you up? Well, it was a big dinner and he happened to be... Well, he wasn't hungry? That was his excuse? <laughs> he was due to sit next to me at dinner and I spent the evening with an empty chair missing a lovely conversation with him. Well, you should have called me. I'd have turned up. I'd have no. been there. I've been there. Oh, Saffron, hi. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's a lot of English people on the show tonight. Could you do the rest of the show in an American accent? It's all gone a bit British. Yeah, let's right. do that. All right, then. Okay. Well, I have a good warm-up for you. I have a very strange warm-up that I do in my car sometimes on the way to the theatre. Uh, oh, uh, right, go. Thought about Paul. Hot coffee pot. It's been a bit dim, so give a little bit. It goes on like that. And my... I can't keep up. Uh, <laughs> I've crossed the Atlantic half a dozen times. I have my voice ladies on the iPod. Her, her voice is sort of reciting things. Some involve genitalia for some reason. But they all... Uh, <laughs> it's all about... For, for the real Americans here... Actually, I am a citizen too now. Oh, you are? Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, welcome aboard. <laughs> Did you get your tattoo yet? I haven't got my tattoo. No, you have to get your tattoo. Do I need... It's a, a snake. It goes all the way around there and goes to your bits. I need a... <laughs> I need a tattoo. Yo, well, yeah, you want to get a tattoo, don't but you? But to, sure? to stretch the vowels, this is what I do on the way to work. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't do an American accent. You can't. You I can't. Can. No, I can't. And when I try, I've heard you. No, I can't. It sounds like a Scottish person who lives in America. <laughs> But when I go to Scotland, they, uh -huh. they say, Oh, look at you. You think you're great with your American accent. I'm like, I don't me. have an American accent. They're like, yes, you do. That's what my friends in London do. You have to be careful. If you say something like...
Garage, people go crazy. If you say water, you're in trouble. Water, yeah. You can't go back to London. It's too Do you know what I've noticed? Though? I was talking to a waiter in France, don't ask. And, um, <laughs> and he said, I sometimes get very annoyed at Americans when they come here. And I'm like, why? And he said, because they come to the restaurant and say, do you have water? And I'm like, and, he, and I was like, yeah, oh. This is our restaurant. No, we don't have any water. Uh, the potatoes, they boil themselves. The tea has no water. The coffee, no water. It's made out of dirt. Where was this? On your holiday? Yeah, I went to Paris. Did you, uh, did you have a nice time in Paris? You ever been to Paris? I lived in Paris. Did you? I got sent there. You went there for a while, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was, yeah. There. I was, yeah. I was, uh, I was uh, friendly with a girl over there. You were? Yeah. And when I say friendly, you know. With a French girl? Yeah. <laughs> you too? I lived there with... I French girl there too? I was 15. I 15? lived there with girls from all over the world. Miss Illinois, Miss Gothenburg. Were, it was a beauty pageant? I got sent there by, a, by Elite, you know, the model agency. Oh, right. So I lived there with people from all over the world. Models from all over the world? And you were one of them all the, living in the same house? Every three days, someone like, new would arrive and... <laughs> Where the hell was I? <laughs> Drinking beer in Glasgow going, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. You might have been there at the same time. No, I would have remembered. <laughs> That's lovely. Do you spend any time in France now? I do now. I've shrugged off the bad memories and now I like it. Oh, right. Yeah. What do I, you eat when you're there? Do I you? love it. I eat steak frites every oh, night. Yeah, I, I like love that. it. Yeah, yeah. Fish and, and I mean, uh, steak and, and fries. Yeah. You have to say fries. fries. Yeah, you can't say chips. You can't say French fries, because... No, because they're like, oh, it is France. All the fries are French. But remember, they, were, <laughs> they became freedom fries. Oh, they became freedom fries. Remember that? Yeah. Do you Bush know once you can't I was, say French fries. I was once in a truck stop bathroom, don't ask, and... <laughs> And it was, in, it was during all the time when the, the anti-French feeling was very high. Uh -huh. And there was a, a condom machine and it sold uh, condoms and also other pleasurable items, right? <laughs> yeah, in a truck stop bathroom. I'm like, oh yeah, great. And, but in it there were, instead of French ticklers, it had freedom ticklers. It did. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't use a freedom tickler. <laughs> I don't know if I'd use what a French What would you do tickler. if you're having a deja vu and you couldn't be French about it? You'd have a, an already happened. It already happened. It just uh, happened right happened. there. Yeah. It just happened. What would you do if you were having a deja vu and it already happened? <laughs> now, tell me. Is it, uh, you know, you, do you get uh, naked? Um, I do, actually. Do you really? I have to change on stage. Naked? I don't really need to leave the stage much, so I, I change on stage. Uh -huh. That's as close as naked as I come, but it's... Right, uh, right down to your underoos? Almost. Well, you, like, down to your, what, your outer underwear? Well... Because that's pretty conservative right there. Just, I changed down to my trousers. Just off stage, I... Right. She, yes. It's a little embarrassing because Gilles Marini is in the play, that lovely French actor who's oh, yeah. brothers and sisters, lovely man. And he walks by as I'm changing. It's a little embarrassing. Does he There's a lot of kind of pretending not to notice that other people are getting undressed as you walk on stage next I'm to I'm terrible them. at that. Yeah. I, I, I stop and stare and then drool. <laughs> Then you'd be late for your entrance. No, I hate being late for my entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I always hand in these lines. I know. Um, yeah, my mum came to see the play last week. Oh. And she, she's this teacher from London. and she She's likes, English too? She's English too. Right. And she likes, a little bit Irish, English and Irish. She likes a quiet theatre. About 20 minutes into the play, I hear a very loud shushing going on. My mum is shushing the audience. <laughs> I was mortified. Do you think you could get her to come here? <laughs> I quite like them shushed. And that's not code, it's just shh. <laughs> we're, we're out of time. We are? Yeah, so it's a uh, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball or awkward pause. Don't, well, do, don't do glittery ball, I'm not really sure what it is. You're not? Well, do we each have a glittery ball? Sure, we can try. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what the glittery ball is. I've got a pair of kangaroo testicles, but I don't know where they fit in at all. <laughs> I, I, the, I've got two glittery balls, uh -huh. and then I've got these two things here. And the... <laughs> the uh, and we have to go with these ones, do we? Yeah, well, one's slightly lower than the other, but that's... 
That's perfectly normal, I'm told. <laughs> but I don't really know what to do. I mean, we could, you know, have an awkward pause. We could pause. do an awkward pause and the glittery ball. Well, okay. Let's do that. Fine. Yeah, all right. The thing is, though, this is too exciting. <laughs> I'll turn it off. There. You know, John Goodman was here the other week. He's very good at the, uh, <laughs> the awkward pause. He is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're better looking, though. I'm not good at it because you make me laugh. I like making you laugh. <laughs> it makes me feel like this. <laughs> Sovereign birds, everybody.